In this video, we'll be taking a look at personal item backpacks under a hundred bucks. Hey, I'm Tom from Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. These bags are handy for storing in-flight essentials under the seat in front of you and can even fit a weekend's worth of gear. Each pack varies in liter capacity and size, so be sure to check your airline's restrictions before flying. Check out the links down in the description below for in-depth reviews on some of these bags and links to packhacker.com for the best buying options that help support our channel at no additional cost to you. Let's jump in. Look at this little cutie pie. Hmm. Budget airlines like Ryanair have some of the toughest personal item restrictions out there. Even minimalist packers can find it hard to fit everything into a bag less than 15 inches tall. That's where the Topo Designs Rover Pack Mini comes in. Despite its small size, there is plenty of storage. Slot up to a 13 inch laptop in the dedicated sleeve to get some work done on the flight. The rest of the main compartment is open to pack as you please. When that's full, use the water bottle pockets and two external zippered pockets for quick access to gear like a phone and passport. However, just because it's stuffed to the brim doesn't mean that it has to look bulky. The compression straps give it a slim profile and the lid can be tightened as needed to lock in any gear overflow. If you're not flying with a strict airline, you might wanna consider upgrading to the Classic, which gives you 20 liters instead of 10. Double the space. Plus, it's only an inch taller, so you'll fit within the limits of other major airlines too. When it's time to deplane, Topo Design's super bright colors make it nearly impossible to forget the bag under your seat. That said, the chunky hardware and eye-catching designs may not be for everyone. At 18 inches tall and 27 liters, the North Face Gesture has the largest capacity of any bag we mentioned on this list. And that's not counting the bungee cords in the front, which is a great place to store a thick jacket or bulky shoes. This increases the amount of gear you can bring while still falling within personal item size limits. That said, the primary compartment has plenty of space for a weekend's worth of gear. However, like the Tobo Designs of Rover Pack Mini, it has little to no built-in organization apart from the 15 inch laptop sleeve. We like to use packing cubes to help make the most of the bag's capacity and avoid fumbling for gear when we need it the most. As for smaller items, those have a home in the front compartment. Slide a battery bank, passport, and pens in the mesh pockets and use the zippered pocket as a catch-all for keys, headphones, and gum. However, keep in mind that overloading this compartment makes the bag top heavy and can cause it to flop over when opening the pack. Even at its larger size, the Jester still feels balanced. Its padded back panel is comfortable when packed full, which is essential when your gate is at the very end of the terminal. The Air Go Pack features premium materials in a packable design that looks good just about anywhere. It's made from 300D heathered ripstop nylon, for lightweight durability without sacrificing a sleek, sophisticated look. It's not the most packable bag we've ever tested, though its compressibility still gives it an edge. It doesn't pack in on itself or come in with its own stuff sack. Instead, the flexible material rolls, folds into a slightly smaller footprint, or flattens for easy storing in your other luggage. And there's more than enough organization to make the most of its 21 liter capacity. The laptop sleeve has a small zippered pouch attached, which is a great spot for storing a mouse, charger, and other small tech. There's also two internal pockets and external quick grab pockets for your passport and boarding pass, and a sizable front pocket that closes with a fidlock. If you prefer to travel with a rolling suitcase, utilize the luggage pass-through to give your shoulders a break when it's all loaded up. The benefits of a pass-through is something we discuss at length in Pack Hacker Pro. Pro member Lance K was torn between two day pack choices, but opted for the Air Go Pack for its versatile look and airport-friendly features. In Pro, you can chat directly with our team and community to get first-hand info on gear before you buy. Plus, members get access to exclusive deals and giveaways with top brands at the time of this video, like Air, Matador, and Topo Designs. Save some cash and easily plan your next trip all in one place. Joining Pro is the best way to support us so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. Check out the link down in the description below for more information on how to sign up. Now, let's get back into some more personal item bags that won't break the bank. This is a packable one. When you need a truly packable backpack, 
Matador has you covered. They specialize in packable gear and the lightweight, weather-resistant on-grid packable backpack packs down into the size of your hand. Use it to keep your essentials close on your flight or as a backup if they ask you to check your luggage at the gate. It easily packs away to its own pocket for storage, which is great for saving space at your destination when you're not using it as a day pack. When deployed, you have 16 liters of storage to work with. The high-performance Robic nylon fabric expands to accommodate gear as you head off for the day of exploring a new city. It's also super lightweight, so it won't bog you down even when full. However, just because it's packable doesn't mean that it lacks internal organization. The front panel includes a quick grab pocket for storing AirPods or other tiny tech. And there's a simple liner sleeve big enough for a 15 inch device, though we prefer to also use a laptop sleeve for added protection. There are also two water bottle pockets with gussets to accommodate larger bottles, though narrow bottles can still slide around. We like this pack so much that we decided to add it to our Digital Nomad Packing List version two, so if you haven't seen that already, check it out with the link in the description below. If you like to keep your aesthetic options open, Tom Bin is a brand to consider. With their daylight backpack, you can select the material and color combination that best suits your style. At the time of this video, there are two different fabric styles with a wide variety of colors to choose from. Go for a lightweight 400D ripstop nylon for a slicker feeling bag that resists tears and abrasions. Meanwhile, the sturdier 525D ballistic nylon fits in well at the office or a nice hotel. Whatever option you choose, this 16.5 liter bag offers plenty of organization. Slide a 13 inch laptop with a protective sleeve into the dedicated pocket and keep your packable jacket close at hand when the plane's AC kicks on. Or store your hoodie in the rear sleeve to add padding and create a makeshift back panel for comfort. For quick access to small gear during the flight, use the bag's front pocket. It opens with a diagonal zipper and spans the height and width of the bag so you have plenty of space to pack it up with snacks and an e-reader. For those of you already familiar with Tom Bin, they'll be releasing a couple minor upgrades to improve the carry comfort of this bag. The new Contour backpack straps now have minimal foam padding to increase comfort without adding too much weight. Sometimes travel will find you trekking up a mountain just as often as checking out a new cityscape. With the Osprey Daylight Cinch, you'll easily go from city to trail. This pack is simple but versatile. Its interior sleeves fits a 13-inch laptop during transit or a hydration bladder when you go off the beaten path. Feed the tube through the hidden slot in the back and attach the mouthpiece to the shoulder strap loops until you need it. The remaining space requires some proper planning. We like to use packing cubes to maximize the 15 liters and keep our gear organized. You can also store items in the front zippered compartment, though it lacks any segmentation to keep small gear from getting lost. That said, it's a great spot for storing sunglasses or snacks to stay energized on the go. When it's properly adjusted, the Osprey Daylight Cinch is comfortable enough for a long day of exploring. The sternum strap and removable waist strap help distribute some weight, though at the small size, we don't often find ourselves needing it. Just be aware of the long cord that dangles from the pack when it's cinched, as it can catch on doorknobs and tree branches. Travel can be just as unpredictable as the weather. The Optimus 10 liter backpack from Flowfold is a sturdy bag built to withstand rough terrain. At the time of this video, it's available in three lightweight fabric options. The X-Pack version here is super durable and weatherproof, though it can sound a bit crunchy. There's also an earth-friendly eco-pack or UV-resistant light skin if you want to slow down the materials fading. All the fabrics are abrasion-resistant, so they'll stand up to practically anything you throw at them. The narrow profile of the Optimist easily slides into small spaces. It fits snug under the airplane seat or in the back of your closet while you wait for your next adventure. If you have room to spare within your airline's requirements, there's also a larger Optimist as well. Though they're pretty much the same, it has eight liters more capacity and two external water bottle pockets, which the smaller size lacks. However, this is the only pack on this list without a dedicated laptop sleeve, no matter the size. So it may not be for you if you often travel with large devices. So there you have it, some great personal item bags under a hundred bucks. Leave a comment down below with your go-to personal item bag, because remember, some of the best ideas come from you, the Pack Hacker community, right here on YouTube. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next video.